the role of top management in lean transformation is they need to learn to listen. And having listened, they need to learn how to adapt. Because at the top, we very often think about all the things that we need to do and then command that out. Really, we need to go to the word, to the Gemba, to talk to people about how the world looks from that perspective. And listen, but listen deeply. And try to imagine what it would, like, would be like to try and solve the problems of the staff if you were one of the staff. It's easy as a senior manager to go down to the Gemba and say, I've just found this out from Muriel that we are doing this and then go and command the manager to go and sort it out. But the person who is there and hundreds like them don't have that power. So what I say to senior management is go to the workplace and try to solve the problems of the workplace with a level of authority of the person at the workplace. And then you'll start seeing what's wrong with your organization. There's another thing about this going to Gemba. It's not just the top management that need to go to Gemba. Um, very often, the people in the, in the front line, funnily enough, need to go to Gemba. Now, that's quite a surprising thing to say. Why do I say that? Because most of the people at the front line are in Gemba, but they're only in a part of it. They don't see the rest of it. So they need to go to other people's Gemba as well, so that we understand how we collaborate, what goes on elsewhere. This is part of breaking down the silo thinking. We break down the silo thinking from top management to the front line and between the front line and their colleagues in other departments. So everybody needs to see the Gemba from top to bottom, left to right. The biggest tip falls um, of lean and especially in service organization is the assumption that what you're producing today is the right thing and therefore you just need to get better at doing it, which I'll, I'll switch to efficiency, because the assumption is the products and services are probably broadly right, I just get more efficient at that. My biggest message to anybody who is embarking upon a lean service transformation is to ensure that the customer and the process the customer goes through becomes as effective as possible. And that process is outside of your business. And this is one of the difficulties of lean in services. You're trying to improve something that's just outside in the customer's world. That has to flow. That has to be error free. That's how you, that's how you make it effective for your customer. Once you've learned how to make that effective for your customer, you can then turn your attention to making it efficient. But we don't do that. We think that the customer's world can be improved a little bit, but we just want to make what we do more efficient. And we end up doing the wrong things a little bit righter. We often start making the waste flow faster, and we end up with cheap, cheaper, neater, faster waste. I would say the main benefit for lean in service is quite surprising but it is probably the most important competency businesses need to have today. And this is adaptability and speed of response to change. If you've got a workforce that you've developed that can solve problems quite quickly, can collaborate, this is a great asset, not just for improving the business, but where there's a strategic change or a threat from competition, you've got a workforce that can figure out what needs to change quite quickly. So the core competency in today's world with all the increasing changes we've got, customer expectations are off the chart, the technology changes are off the chart, employee expectations as well are off the chart. In this world, we have to learn how to become adaptive. And I would go so far as to say that even the, the, the notion of continuous improvement is, is outmoded because by the time you get around to improving something, it's all changed. So really what we need to be moving is we need to be up, upping our game from continuous improvement to de learning how to deal with continuous change. And that is the real benefit. And it's absolutely needed for today's world.